<laughs> Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Patches Farm. We just experienced our first light snow. We had about two to three inches on this morning. It's pretty much all melted off today. So we get down to 22 tonight. And single digits coming up pretty quick. But we'll take the snow. We really need the moisture. Moving 328 head here tonight in about uh, probably a minute and a half. <laughs> the way they're coming through here. Yeah, I'd say that's three fourths of them anyway. Honey, when they make that corner, they speed up. boys and I have been spending the afternoon uh, processing our venison. We got some deer over the deer season weekend opener and uh, got some really nice roast and steaks put up. And uh, looking forward to eating some grass-fed deer that we raised on our forages over this summer. The nice thing about harvesting deer out here, there's nobody around us that has GMO grain. There's no cropping out here. So whatever they eat is natural, it's on our farm, or it could be acorns, that's natural too. But there's no GMO corn or soybeans being eaten by our deer. We had a good, a good weekend though. We had several people that got their venison and we're happy about that. It's always a good feeling when you got snow and Thanksgiving coming around and you know it's got winter in front of you to have some really good healthy meat. Which we have a bunch right here <laughs> too. Uh, we got our freezers full of grass fed beef and uh, you name it, we got it in there. Jan is really on the vegetable part. She cans a lot, she freezes a lot. And so we've got a really nice menagerie, you might say, assortment, variety, diversity <laughs> of different things. These cattle, they're, they got some green here tonight. They had green in that bottom we just took them out of. So, Well, we had a we had a pretty brutal fall here. We just didn't just hold, hold off a minute. Uh, David and I actually moved these, and uh, Isaac and Ike are uh, going to the next farm. We got a cattle drive in the morning, and so we're getting everything set up on the next farm. It's about a mile down the road. And, uh, but tonight they're gonna get to eat this. So there's, I don't know, some of this there's six to eight, maybe 10 inches of grass in here, but I would say it averages closer to six. But it's good, it's, it's high quality forage. And the one thing that people don't realize is when you are in a drought, like we were this fall, the forage that you do grow is a lot more nutrient dense and so the animals don't require as much of it it's like rocket fuel there's something going on down in our bottom there um, <laughs> crows i've never heard a chorus of crows like that it's almost deafening I don't know what they're crowing about, but it might be a coyote or something down there. Snow's almost gone, David. Yeah, it is. It's been a really damp, wet snow. Yeah. With, yeah. The, with the snow on tonight, the cattle are getting just a little bit of a drink with every bite full of grass they take. It's wet, it's got that snow on it, and so they're not going to drink as much tonight. And it's cold out here. Yeah. Uh, for a uh, Louisiana boy, it's cold, isn't it's it? It's cold, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, the cold today is a damp cold like you get some days at Louisiana. It never really gets below the 30s, 
but the humidity will stay high so it still feels pretty cold yep david has got a radar for these things right here i've taught him <laughs> when he goes out to watch him this is a, oh, this is an eastern red cedar and david has got his little deal there it is what'd you cut that with? oh it's just a leathering tool i mean that thing flat done the number to that yeah anything Few Did you inches. sharpen that? Did you sharpen no, I've that? never had to sharpen it. Dang. It's not a cheap tool, though. This one's, uh, I think, 140 bucks. Really? That's an industrial model. Man. Oh, my God. That's heavy, dude. Yeah. It's a... You don't want to lose that. No, I don't. That's why I got a magnetic, little magnetic leather pouch put it in. Wow. Where'd you get that knife at? Um, this, is, well, is that a handmade knife? No, no. This is just, uh, I actually bought it. I had it today for deer skinning. It's, uh, I like it because it's got a gut hook with it, and it's... Uh, yeah, it's just really nice for oh, skinning yeah. a deer or doing a gut hook. Helps keep you from busting the guts or whatever. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I didn't end up really needing it today. Everybody had plenty of knives, but wanted yeah. to come prepared. You never know. That's right. If you want to put that in there so that that hook is under that. Yeah. Oop, there you, there, there you go. go. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering why it wouldn't button up. Like, David, I don't want to see you lose your gut, <laughs> your gut hook knife. Oh, man. Yeah, so we're, uh, this next rotation, the one we're starting now, uh, we're, we are, you might say, it's winter, and it's, the grass is not growing back anymore, and so what we're doing is we're trying to give the animals a little bit of grass, and uh, we're going to get one more rotation around here, because when we come back here, we've got, um, so we've got 50, 60, 70, 80, there's about, on this farm, and what we call Jan's farm. There's about 140 big round bales here. So this is where we're going to be uh, probably in uh, mid-February to March. And we'll actually kind of meet spring green up while we're on this farm. So what we're trying to do, folks, is keep the animals moving, especially in the winter time when you get into that March period. If you don't move these animals and it's wet, uh, even a thousand pound animal, they can really create some mud on your farm and we don't have a sacrifice paddock in other words we don't lock them down let's just say on this particular i think there's 12 acres here if you just gave them the whole 12 acres and never moved them just fed hay in here for let's say a month in mud season whoo you talk about compaction and mud you'd have mud all over your cows and mud is equal disease and parasites it's just not healthy i mean we don't do good when we get mud and animals don't do any better so keep them out of the mud <laughs> that's uh, the lesson for today there's a pretty good fescue in here something's been digging there yeah they were trying to get a, mo like a, a mole maybe they were going after a mole we don't have ground squirrels huh. i bet that was a coyote or it could have been kangle you don't think a deer could do that no Look at the no that's a sh that's a cow that stepped in there Okay, that's, that's I got you. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I'll be glad to see the snow gone. I know. I know. People always say, well, great snow's pretty. Well, it is. It's pretty to look at, but I'm always glad when it's gone. Because <laughs> it, just, it just makes more work for us. Yeah, we needed the water. We needed the water. Good wet snow. Yeah. It was getting dusty again. Drive down the road, it was just a dust cloud. Now it's mud. Which I'm not complaining about mud. I'd rather have mud than dust. So, folks, with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. And uh, everyone have a good one. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. And we'll see you next time.